Hello there Pisces and welcome. I'm Adriana. I'm a soul guidance coach. I help you choose growth and the healing of your inner roots. I have an intuitive message for you today. This will look at your inner world as well as your outer world and the relationship between the two. We are going to start on the outside. So we've got the fool. One card at a time, guys. We've got guile also on the outside. Okay, fulfillment. Yep. On the inside. And truth. Wow, what a big and beautiful reading. Okay. Now I'm going to start with the inner cards because they influence and build to the outer cards in your particular reading. We have this lovely nine of horns going into the ace of swords. And what this says to me is that you will either have a moment now or you've already had this moment where you've really come into true alignment with your truth. And I know that sounded funny, true alignment with your truth. Um, but there's a softening of this energy of truth. Usually this card is a very harsh card asking you to face something that you're not willing to face. But the fact that we've got this water energy with it inside means that you are happy to discover this truth about yourself. And the truth is coming from a place of fulfillment. And it's also providing keys to your fulfillment. So this truth comes for many of you in a dream. So pay attention to your dreams. They're, they're containing messages for you around this. For others, I feel like it's going to come like as an insight as you're doing something creative. So this is interesting. It also may come in meditation, but I'm feeling like it's more connected to those states that are the essence of Neptune energy, dreams, creations, poetry. So you find this inner fulfillment truth, the truth. The truth about what makes you fulfilled, what makes you feel really um, emotionally happy, emotionally content, emotionally at peace. This is an interesting journey to go on because often what we feel will bring us emotional contentment and peace is not what we think. So it's really... a a wonderfully illuminating moment when you have that clarity of what brings you emotional fulfillment. Um, you know, I can relate to this in my own journey, thinking for so many years and that I wanted a particular thing, and then finding out that when I really got real with myself, when I really got honest, that actually, no, that wasn't really what I wanted. That I wanted the energy of fulfillment, but it had nothing to do with that process. So it was such a liberating and freeing moment when I knew, okay, emotionally, this is what I want. Emotionally, this is what brings me fulfillment. And it gave me so much more strength and courage in my convictions and my choices. So I'm hoping you're going to have a similar experience because in the outside world, we have the fool. This takes you on a new journey. This takes you to a new place where you have to leave where you're comfortable but it's okay because you have that inner compass of not only mental clarity, but emotional clarity about where you want to go. And on the other side, we have guile. We have people in your world, or this could also be your mind, telling you, no, that's not really what you want. This is the energy of shape-shifting, of untrustworthiness, of saying one thing and meaning another. So this is why it is so important for you to have this inner compass intact so that you can really know if what the outside, is, outside world is offering you is in line with what you want or is not. Because when we have the full card, we have that energy of newness, of unexpected, of completely different, of adventure. So there might be some discomfort the path that will lead you to this inner fulfillment may feel uncomfortable at first, but it doesn't mean that it's the wrong path. 
So that's why it's so important to know on the inside what it is that really brings you emotionally fulfillment because sometimes the path to get there feels uncomfortable. It's not what our brain tells us that we want. And it may not be the path that other people approve of or give you their stamp of their um, <laughs> their stamp of blessing. They may not give you their your blessing. No. They may not give you their blessing. There we go. Okay, speak English. Let me get an advice card for you. Okay, Ten of Swords, ending. So it really makes sense why you've got the full energy going on because this is totally new. Anytime we have an ending, we also have a new beginning. This says to me though, I'm feeling that it's talking more about this, the Guile card that it's not real. What people are going to try to distract you with or what your mind is going to try to distract you with really isn't real. What people are going to try to warn you about is not going to, the, the actual threat is not as bad. So for instance, if you have this conviction that you need to start a new direction in your career and you're going to be investing some money into X, Y, and Z, you might have a well-meaning family member tell you, oh no, don't do that, you're gonna lose so much, this is the wrong time, blah, 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 blah. But all of those fears they're bringing up aren't really significant. There may be some concern, but it may not be as bad as what these people are telling you. Anything your mind is telling you that is preventing you from moving forward, it's not real. It's, it's like it's over-dramatized, okay? It's more dramatic than it really is. And also in this card, this blossom is playing. It's playing dead, all right? So there's no real danger in any of this. It's, it's a play. So the most important thing is to be happy that you have found, <laughs> and this will end for you differently than the Shel Silverstein book, but you found your missing piece. You have found that instance, that, that realization that I finally know what makes me emotionally fulfilled. I know where exactly to go. That's the real joy and the celebration of this reading, okay? And then the journey is going to unfold in a really interesting and fascinating way for you. So Pisces, thanks so much for sharing your time and energy with me. And if you'd like to leave a comment, that's always welcome. And if you'd like to reach out for a reading, there's information below on how to do that. I also invite you to check out the other ways I can support your spiritual journey. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here, Pisces. Have a good one.